This is our third meditation for Good Friday. And we read in Psalm 68, Father of the fatherless and protector of widows is God in his holy habitation. As our Lord looked down from the cross, he saw his mother, Mary, her sister, whom we know from other Gospels, is Salome, the mother of James and John, so his aunt, Mary, the mother of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene, whom he had delivered of demons. Looking down at his mother and his disciple John, John who referred to himself throughout the Gospel of John as the disciple whom Jesus loved, we know he was one of the inner three. Apparently, John felt a, an affection akin to that of a little brother, especially regarded by the rabbi, his Lord. And Jesus looked at the two of them and said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then he said to John, This is your mother. Only Jesus, perhaps, suffering death on the cross, could look to his mother and to his disciple and say, here is someone to take care of you, Mom. Please take care of Mom for me like she was your own. And we're told in subsequent verses that from that very day, John took Mary into his household and cared for her as if she were his own mother. What a regard. It goes back, of course, all the way to honor your father and mother, that your life may be long in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. But certainly in that care and regard for others, we've heard him pray for forgiveness for his tormentors. We've heard him offer paradise to a reformed criminal hanging on the next cross. Now we hear him taking care of his mother. We can only try to imagine what Mary was feeling. Simeon had told her when Jesus was eight days old, a sword will pierce your heart, lady. And here it is. Mary, of course, was present when Jesus came into the world. Present when he was conceived as mortal and divine before that. And now at the very end of his ministry, she watches while he dies the cruelest execution the Romans had devised. <clears throat> Sounds odd in English to hear him call her woman. But back in the, the Greek of the day, it would have been more like saying milady and in British English. Madam or ma'am, perhaps in some parts of our country, we still use that kind of address for someone. But a term of respect in addressing his mother. So a little more than just mom. It's a very respectful, gentle, loving term. The same one he used at Cana when she suggested that he uh, restore the problem that they were out of wine. Who else perhaps could be so considerate of taking care of his mother and his disciple? At such a time. We need to be careful to take care of our own parents, other widows, others who have need. We may be asked by a friend to, to take that on for them. And even if not formally, especially now in this time of the, the quarantine and the fears, whether it be delivery of someone's mask, whether it be helping pick up groceries for them so they needn't go out if they're at risk. A video chat, just a phone call, but some kind of safe connection to offer comfort, support, a prayer for those who might not have family who are proximate enough, or if there are our family to keep proximate through the means that we have while still keeping safe in this time. 
Jesus then shows us on the cross the ultimate model of that kind of filial love. Let's do likewise. Lord, help us to take to heart and mind the example of our Lord, even in this care of family and care of others when we have the opportunity. Grant us the means, the opportunity, and the courage to answer that call whenever you put it before us and to answer it faithfully and lovingly. We pray now that all who are widowed or orphaned have someone to keep in touch, to keep in care, to keep them connected through this time of, of difficulty and well beyond it, that we not forget when the times seem to get easier, as we trust in you that they will. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. Jesus loving to the end, her whose heart thy sorrows rend, and thy dearest human friend, hear us, holy Jesus. May we all thy loved ones be, all one holy family, loving for the love of Thee, hear us, holy Jesus. Amen.